to forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that the prisoner was you. When I was four years old, I came home from school and found a man I didn't know, but who looked really familiar sitting in the living room. I ran to my mom and she introduced me to him. She told me that he was my dad. I didn't talk to him because I had no idea who he was and what it should feel like to have a father. Later on, my mom explained to me that he left us for another woman that he had an affair with and they had a child. While my mom was telling me all of this, it was really hard for me because I was really young and my world of playing games and not caring for reality changed in that instant. I needed to be more mature. I needed to be more focused in school so later in the future, I could go to a really good college and find a good job because no one would support me financially except for my mom. I felt anger and hated towards my dad. After his first visit, he left again and didn't come back for a long time. Once in a while, he would call or send mails. I was honest with my feelings because I was young. I showed him that I was angry at him. I didn't talk to him but I always listened to what he had to say. When he visited, for me, nothing changed. I still felt hatred inside me and it kept on growing. When I spent time with my dad, I often faked that I was happy that he came back because I always thought that we were better off without him. I thought that if it was just me and my mom, there would be no burden. This was my way of thinking because all these years, it had just been me and my mom. I got used to not looking for a dad because my mom tried really hard to be like a father to me. We overcame problems together emotionally, physically, and financially. I thought we would be better off without him because I knew that my mom will always be there for me whatever happened, like my dad who was never by my side. As years passed, I always saw my other friends were the dads, but I was not conscious about my feelings. I knew I was angry, but I didn't know that there were other feelings inside me. My anger towards my dad was always shown to my friends. I didn't realize that I was jealous of them, that I was longing for a father. However. My ego and pride never let me see that. My emotions caused me to see every little bad thing that he did. When I stayed with him, I couldn't even last a day because I felt anger and that feeling was killing me from inside. Also, I never felt safe because I knew that his life was messed up. I knew that he was an alcoholic and he used illegal drugs. He would tell me that he always feels that someone is following him and someone is hunting him down. In 2010, we spent our first Christmas together, and he asked for my forgiveness. But I didn't accept it even though I knew to myself that I missed him. I thought to myself that maybe when he calls again, I will tell him that I forgive him, what he never did. That made me think that maybe he just gave up on me. Three years later, I went to the United States without saying goodbye to him. A year later, he started to send me emails again, and he told me that he was looking for us in the Philippines for a year. He told me that he was sorry that he didn't have the chance to talk to me because he was in jail because he shot someone. He told me that he was sorry for everything. I realized that I was the one who hadn't been there for him, not even once. Have you ever forgave someone and felt free from the chains around your neck and the weight of the world in your chest? When I forgave him, in that moment, I felt that way. The chains around my neck were loosened and the weight on my chest was lifted. I never thought that not forgiving my dad made me a prisoner and my emotions and ego were the bars that were holding me back. I believe that forgiveness can set us free. I didn't know that I was a prisoner of my anger until I chose to forgive my dad. I learned not to hold grudges at anyone for a long time because I know that it will do nothing good to me and I'll just be a prisoner again and never find out until I forgive. I learned that when you forgive someone, you're not the only one who can be free from your negative emotions but the person you forgive will also be free from guilt and your grudge. I also learned to forgive anyone who did something bad to me even if they have not said the words, I'm sorry, because I know at some point, they will realize that they hurt someone. If you ever get mad at someone, just remember that anger can make us smaller, while forgiveness forces us to go beyond what we are.